It made me think that I was actually doing something meaningful. All the kids there were smiling and laughing and having a good time. Do something positive. A lot of the kids there, um, you know, related with the show. Hi, my name is Leah Koch and I've been a Girl Scout for 10 years. The Girl Scout Gold Award is the highest award you can ever earn in Girl Scouts, and I wanted mine to be really meaningful. Theater is my passion, so I decided to base my Gold Award project around theater. I wrote a kid's play that I hoped would teach some important life lessons in a fun way. Then, I got some of my friends together and we spent weeks rehearsing. Finally, we went out into the city to perform for some very deserving kids. I'd like to show you a little bit about how my Gold Award project became a reality. We don't want to play with a loser like you. Look at the way you dress. And we don't want to play with someone named Clementine. Well, who needs her? I mean, I have plenty of friends. Right? I wish I didn't have to sit by myself at recess every day. I wish I knew the answer when Ms. Choi called on me in class. I wish Wanda would stop picking on me. And most of all, I wish my name wasn't Clementine! That was loud. Yeah, did you really need to shout? Um, who are you? Unimportant. Irrelevant. But very importantly. And very relevantly. Who, who are, are you? you? I'm... <coughs> Sorry, didn't quite catch that. I'm... I'm nobody. Well, that's impossible. Everybody's somebody. Very true. Well, I think we should be going now. Right. Let's get to it. Well, are you coming or not? Um, Great, let's go. I think recess is over. I have to go back to class. Not today, you don't. Okay, but... The first thing I had to do was write the play. I looked to everything for inspiration. Music, movies, books. I went back and read some of the picture books I loved when I was a kid to see what it was that resonated with kids. I decided to write a kind of modern fairy tale. I named my main character Clementine. Clementine would venture into a fantasy world where she got to decide everything, but things from her own world would show up in fantasy world. The school bully was translated into the monster terrorizing Clementine's new world. After I had finished writing the play, I asked some of my very talented friends if they would help me. I had a great cast of very dedicated high schoolers and we got to work on rehearsal. We read through the play and started blocking out all the scenes. We had to remember that we wouldn't see the spaces we were performing in until we were there. The whole show had to be completely portable. Everybody pitched in to help with different aspects of the show. Logan wrote beautiful harmony for our final song. Laura choreographed our Spanish dance sequence. Jenny and Gabrielle donated costumes and helped me with blocking. Meanwhile, at the same time we were rehearsing, I was trying to find venues for us to perform in. I spent a lot of time on the phone with different organizations around the city. Everyone was excited about our project, but sometimes it just didn't work out. By the beginning of December, we were ready to go. We had a completely portable set, lots of handmade props and costumes, and a show that was perfect for little kids. Oh. What was that? Earthquake! Run! <laughs> What's going on? Earthquake! We have one of our couple of years. Well, what do we do? We, we run. run! Help! Oh my gosh! Someone is stuck under the trees! It's Wandazilla! <laughs> Hooray! We're finally rid of her! But she's still alive! Well, well, leave her! She's she's been terrorizing us for years! Leave her, girl! My name isn't girl! It's Clementine! And Clementine doesn't leave people behind! You're welcome! 
Our two weeks of performances had their ups and downs, but mostly ups. Our first show was at our own school. The entire lower school came out to see what we had done. We had over 300 kids. They loved the show and let us know that we were right on track and ready to head out into the city. We learned something new at every show. At the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, we learned that it doesn't matter if you have one kid who is the right age. If that kid is smiling and laughing, you've done your job. At Children's Memorial Hospital, we learned that laughter trumps any illness. And at the Miracle Center, we learned that if you believe that the story is true, so will the kids.